This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 207, Are You Cleaning Out Your Own Wallet? Part one by Mr. Money Mustache of mrmoneymustache.com. And I am Dan, your host here on Optimal Finance Daily, reading you the best personal finance blogs on the planet. And uh, hopefully I'm not cleaning out my own wallet. We'll find out in a minute from Mr. Money Mustache. But before we get into that post, we are almost halfway through the month. And that means another book giveaway is quickly approaching. So if you want to be in the raffle to win, you just need to be on our weekly email list. And uh, we send out an update once a week with some life tips, quotes, and uh, much more. But we also do these book raffles and uh, send you helpful spreadsheet tools, anything that we think will help you optimize your life. So to join for free, you can enter your email address at oldpodcast.com or for a speedier way to join, you can text the word financial to the number 44222. And now let's get to Mr. Money Mustache's post and start optimizing your life. Are you cleaning out your own wallet? Part one by Mr. Money Mustache of mrmoneymustache.com. I'm pretty sure we're all being scammed. I've been collecting evidence on this for over 15 years now, and it's starting to look pretty compelling. If you're skeptical, see what you think of these stories. 1997, Mr. Money Mustache, Mr. Frugal Toke, and two other friends move into a house together, all of us newly graduated tech workers ready to begin our new careers. Between the parties and late nights of work, we notice that one of those other roommates appears to be running an underground laundromat. When he is home, the washer and dryer are always running simultaneously, and he is running up and down the stairs with bags and baskets full of clothes. The rest of us of similar age, stature, and occupation find we only need to do laundry every week or two, often sharing a load. 2000. Several homes later, and in a new country by now, I rent a room from a woman named Carrie in Boulder, Colorado. She has a chore wheel, which has all of us devoting every Sunday morning to cleaning the house. I find myself missing hours of precious Rocky Mountain morning sunshine crouched under the pedestal sink of my personal bathroom, spraying and wiping tiles that I just wiped last week with no discernible result. Why am I cleaning this bathroom, I wonder? I can't even tell which part I have just rewashed and which part was dirty. 2013. In the comments section of this very blog, I hear from one woman who spends $5,200 per year on a housekeeper because it, quote, saves me five hours a week of cleaning. And a man whose family of five does 30 loads of laundry per week with a corresponding $300 per month electric bill because, quote, five showers a day yields five towels. That's one load per day right there, isn't it? End quote. Happily oblivious. In my own life, I've rarely had much occasion to think about cleaning. Sure, if a surface or an object looks or smells inappropriately dirty, I'll wash it. But this is a tiny part of life. I dump the laundry basket into the machine when it gets full every week or two and press start. When it beeps, I enjoy a meditative two to five minutes while hanging up those clothes. I sweep the wood and tile floors when I notice leaves or dust accumulating and maybe run the vacuum cleaner over the rug every month or so. When guests are coming for an extended stay, we might even treat ourselves to some sparkly bathrooms by getting out the sponge and bucket and cleaning everything to like new condition. Our family's secret to the weekly laundry is reusable clothing. Sure, underwear may only be good for a single day on your active buttocks, but t-shirts can often survive too, and my button-up outer shirts can be reused five to 10 times before they look grubby. My jeans are usually good for a similar number of uses because I wear the fancy ones only around my clean house and city and always change to the dusty, heavy-duty Carhartt pair when heading to the construction site. And as for those bathroom towels, I don't even know how often I wash mine. In the cool, dry winters, I might need a shower every two to three days. With careful rehanging, my towel will last at least 10 showers before it smells anything less than perfectly fresh. So once a month would be my own towel washing schedule on the high side. In the summer, more frequent showers are offset by the open windows, which will dry the bathroom and the towel even more quickly. But that's it. Even in a 2,600 square foot house with an energetic seven-year-old in residence, this adds up to perhaps one workday of cleaning per year. And the bottles of cleaning products get used so slowly that their graphic design becomes noticeably obsolete by the time you're tossing the empty bottle into the recycling bin. I'm sure cleaning is not such a small deal to everyone. Every single grocery store has an entire aisle devoted to the collection of brightly colored hazardous wastes that people use in the interest of maintaining cleanliness. Many of the purported functions are completely alien to me, like rinsing agent, sanitizing wipes, and Febreze. Worldwide, this is millions of square feet and billions of dollars per month being spent on these bizarre cocktails that did not even exist for well over 99% of our species' time on this planet. What gives? evolutionary roots. 
Whenever you notice yourself doing anything ridiculous as a human, it is good to ponder where that behavior might have come from in the first place. Sexual attraction has an obvious benefit to a selfish gene looking to replicate itself. A desire for social status could be boiled down to just a fancier way of making yourself attractive to others. A desire for cleanliness, in the sense of don't sh where you eat, is perfectly sensible when you look at it as a mechanism for preventing disease. But when you are inhaling chlorine ions as you spray bleach onto each of your child's toys after having a few kids over for a birthday party, or idling in a line of SUVs on a fine weekend morning waiting for admittance to the automated car wash, I'd say it is time to go back to the biology textbooks. A revolutionary thought. The answer? Hear that in tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled Are You Cleaning Out Your Own Wallet? by Mr. Money Mustache of MrMoneyMustache.com. And since this post is a little on the longer side, I'll wrap it up for you in tomorrow's episode. But before we go, one last time, if you are part of our weekly newsletter email list, you're gonna be entered to win a book on the first of the month, which is approaching very quickly. So if you're not on already, come by oldpodcast.com and enter your email address there, or you can join by texting the word financial to the number 44222. That's the word financial to the number 44222. And when you are all signed up, you are not only entered into those book raffles, but you'll also get a few spreadsheets to help you with your finances and financial planning. And it's a great way to show your support for what we're doing here at Optimal Finance Daily. So again, come by oldpodcast.com or text the word financial to the number 44222. And that's gonna do it for another edition of Optimal Finance Daily. We will continue this post from Mr. Money Mustache tomorrow. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Finance Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.